We're back at our Rocky Terrace project and I'm gonna walk you through the breakfast nook, which is just adjacent of the kitchen. So we've got an open concept space and I wanted to talk a little bit about blending styles in an open concept space. We're gonna talk a little bit about the furnishings, lighting, and how we brought this space together. So in lighting in here, if you go watch our kitchen video, you can see that we've got really dainty pendants over the kitchen island. So over in the breakfast nook, we wanted to balance that out by going with something a little bit larger in the breakfast nook. So it's a different shape. It brings in some of the same materials, but I think the key is going with a, a slightly different shape that honor, they kind of like complement one another in style, but they are very different. So if you have an open concept, I have a whole video about um, blending lighting in an open concept space, I definitely think that would be helpful for you. So we've got this really cool dome pendant. This is one of my favorite pendants because I think it looks good in a variety of styles, whether you have more of a farmhouse style or you have a traditional style, I think that it can look good in any space. We actually have this at the Mercantile if you're interested. And then below we have our nice big round breakfast table. And I had a question about blending dining tables with um, the dining chairs and how to make that all look cohesive without being matchy matchy. And here what we did is we have this gorgeous uh, warm stained breakfast table. And then we took some of the undertones of the wood stain and brought those out in the chairs. So I think that's a great way to mix and match different pieces of furniture, making sure that the tones stay the same if you're mixing wood pieces, and then they're going to complement one another. And then for the fabric on the chair, you can go with something that's really fun, like a pattern like we did in the dining room at this house, but these pieces just came upholstered and they have this really beautiful, rich boucle fabric on them. We wanted to keep the space light and airy, so we opted for white sheer drapery, whereas in the other spaces we have more of an oatmeal linen. So it's totally okay to mix and match different drapery styles. We also have this really gorgeous tree, which I picked up at the hardware store before the shoot, and I put it in a basket, add some life and some space and kind of some movement into this room. And then behind me, I have this stunning painting it's uh, by a gal named Eileen, and it's so gorgeous. It's this canvas um, that's just pinned onto a linen-backed fabric. And I think that this oversized piece sort of balances everything out because the ceilings are quite tall in here. That wraps up the breakfast nook at our Rocky Terrace project. I hope that you found some inspiration for your own home. You can visit us always at boxofavenue.com for more design tips and tricks, and you can shop at the Mercantile. If you wanna see more of this home, be sure to subscribe. We'll be sharing all of the spaces.